Hello everyone and welcome to Fun To Be Free. Today's journey brings us to the Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival, Japan Pavilion Tour, coming up next. Hey Explorers, John with Fun To Be Free, inviting you to follow me as we discover fun together. Let's go. We're here in World Celebration at Epcot. This is where we're gonna start our excursion and we're gonna end up in World Showcase to experience the Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival's Kokitama Garden, a bonsai collection, and an outdoor kitchen at the Japan Pavilion. Stay tuned because we're gonna find out more details about food and beverage, a unique shopping experience, hidden details, fun facts, and more. The magic of possibility welcomes you to Epcot, where you're about to have some fun doing the impossible. Celebrate springtime with the 2022 Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival, bursting with thousands of blooms, taking place now until July 4th. Let's follow this pathway under Spaceship Earth and head south towards World Showcase. We've made it to the Japan Pavilion in World Showcase. The Japan Pavilion is an oasis of serenity featuring a white egret castle with its great beauty and strength that's captured in this majestic fortress. A graceful Japanese pagoda welcomes you to this pavilion and the Torii Gate of Honor stands in the tidal waters of World Showcase Lagoon. Let your taste buds blossom with fresh flavors at this outdoor kitchen offering creative cuisine featuring the season's freshest flavors. Take a tasty trip to Japan for innovative handcrafted plates with culinary zen at Hanami. Let's take a peek at the mouth-watering menu items. This outdoor kitchen offers frushi it has strawberry, pineapple, and cantaloupe wrapped in sweet rice and pork soy wrap, served with whipped cream, drizzled berry sauce, and toasted coconut. They also have chicken yakitori. It's grilled chicken with scallions, red pepper, and pickled onions. In addition, they have beef tataki. It's seared sirloin with red sauce, watermelon radish, and sprouts. And they even offer additional alcoholic beverages. Admire fresh expressions of an ancient Japanese art at the tranquil Kokitama Garden featuring ornamental plants. The Bonsai Collection is also located in the Japan Pavilion, where you can learn about the art of bonsai, some of the finest living sculptures. Bonsai masters carefully shape and tend these miniature works of art, creating peace and balance with the earth. In the water beyond the shore stands a vermilion tori, a gate of honor resembling a Japanese calligraph character. There's also a dragon topiary standing proudly beneath the gate.
If you're looking for a nice frozen treat, stop by the Kabuki Cafe for the famous Kakigori. It's shaved ice topped with a sweet fruit syrup. They also serve sushi at this location as well. Facing the pavilion grounds, one sees a sight to stir the imagination. Flanking the entrance to the east is the graceful five-story pagoda whose stages in ascending order represent the elements from which Buddhists believe all things in the universe are created. Earth, water, fire, wind, and sky. Inspired by the exquisite 8th century pagoda temple in Nara, Japan, it stands 83 feet high. Matsuriza experienced the thundering sound of taiko, an ancient form of Japanese drumming with history that goes back many centuries. It began in religious ceremonies, in the shrines, and changed throughout the years. Drums were used in festivals to pray for rain and by soldiers in battlefields. Hello everyone! Welcome to the Japan Pavilion and this performance by Matsuriza. tumbles over a waterfall and flows under several rustic footbridges to end in a koi fish pond. Along the way, it rambles past formal arrangement of flowers, rocks, lanterns, paths, and pebbles that appeal not only to the eyes, but to the senses. At the top of the gently sloping garden, not far from the waterfall, stands a tea house, a small version of the part of the Katsura Imperial Villa in the Kyoto Gardens. Katsura Grill is a quick service dining experience that offers indoor seating. Here's the menu that offers traditional Japanese fare. The Katsura Grill has a recommended menu, like the shrimp and chicken teriyaki, chicken cutlet curry, chicken and beef teriyaki, and the chicken teriyaki. They also offer side orders. The outdoor dining patio is where you can quiet your mind in this serene setting as you listen to the sound of a waterfall. There is even more of the bonsai's collection of plants as we navigate back down this walking path. The garden house is a small but lovely kiosk, and it's your quick stop for assorted Japanese sodas, beer, plum wine, and hot or cold sake. Takumite is a place that celebrates moments of perfection 
in nature through Japanese art. At the moment, this table service location is temporarily unavailable. And as of the filming of this video, no reopening date has been announced. Fun fact, in honor of the friendship between the Emperor Hirohito of Japan and Roy O. Disney, Hirohito gifted a stone lantern known as a Toro during the dedication of the Magic Kingdom. The lantern was temporarily placed on display at the Polynesian Resort. Once Epcot opened, it was moved to this location. There are two different and unique table service dining experiences awaiting you on the second floor of this pavilion. To get up there, you can utilize the elevator or you can ascend this exterior grand staircase. Be transported into a true cultural experience through the harmony of traditional Japanese food and hospitality. Enjoy the vibrant feel of a modern Tokyo experience as you enjoy works of culinary art as dramatic floor-to-ceiling windows overlook World Showcase Lagoon. Tokyo Dining offers two pieces of sushi like yellowtail, tuna, salmon, shrimp, and they also offer additional sushi rolls as well like the spicy crunchy roll, the California roll, the volcano roll, shrimp tempura roll, vegetable roll, heiko rainbow, and the avocado roll. Celebrate an authentic Japanese grill at Teponito during an exciting dining experience that's part meal and part show. In the communal ritual of teppanyaki style cooking, where every seat has an excellent view when teppan chefs cook traditional Japanese dishes at the table. Teppan Ido has entrees like a filet mignon, a New York cut steak, a julienne steak, salmon, ebi, tori, potate, and yasai. In addition, they also offer combinations as well. Let's descend these steps back down to ground level. The Mitsukoshi Department Store is one of Japan's premier department stores, and it's the only Mitsukoshi store that exists in North America. Known for service with sincerity, this gift shop offers a unique shopping experience with a long heritage since 1673. Tokyo Pop has impressive decor, which features red ceilings with exposed wood beams and offers loads of colorful, smiling plush toys. Modern Japan has cool treasures and gems, including authentic items available for you to browse and purchase. Discover an assortment of authentic Japanese gifts here in the accessories section. Traditional Japan carries unique apparel such as kimonos, Japanese handbags, and scarves. The marketplace is an entire area within the store that's devoted to Japanese foods, snacks, and candies. Just um. This department store extends the length of the pavilion, leading guests into the Bajutsu Khan Gallery. This is where you'll find an exhibit on charming kawaii, Japan's cute culture, in this gallery dedicated to Japanese art.
to see the evolution of this pavilion, let's take a look back at some proposed attractions. The Japan Pavilion was originally going to explore the country's modern world perspective. This version of the pavilion would have featured an Omnimover style attraction with bright red vehicles similar to the Haunted Mansion's ride system, which would have transported guests to the Ginza district. Eventually, the Japan Pavilion shifted to a more historical approach and this futuristic design would be shelved. A Mount Fuji based thrill ride was planned, similar to the Matterhorn bobsleds at Disneyland. Urban legend says Kodak, one of the Epcot major sponsors, objected to naming an attraction that would use their main competitor's name, Fujifilm. Thus, the plan was retired. A bullet train attraction concept was also planned to highlight the beauty of Japan. It would have taken guests from the city to the countryside, showcasing the nation from a new perspective. The Japan Pavilion was originally planned to have a headline attraction, Meet the World, an unparalleled overview of Japanese history tracing the volcanic origins of the islands. Hosted by two children and an animated magical crane exploring the inhabitants of Japan's past. Slated to be a theater in the round using a similar revolving stage design engineered for Carousel of Progress, it was an audio animatronic presentation that premiered at Tokyo Disneyland. Your global adventure awaits your entire family here in World Showcase at Epcot. Now it's time for a World Showcase flashback. Here we are at the Japan Pavilion, but sadly, our journey's come to an end. With that said, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, follow me on Instagram and Patreon. Until next time, see you later, explorers.